how's it going? Um, this video, I'm going to let you guys know my top five sneakers that I personally like. You guys may not like them, but in my head, I think they are so fire and worth the price. All right, so I'm gonna start a series about my top five favorite shoes, my top five like things that I like, my top five like oh clothing brands, my top like five that are like the most ugliest brands that I think that I would never wear, and I don't know why people would wear them. All right, so I'm gonna kick it off by starting with shoes. All right, so we have number one. I have my phone here so I can show you guys. Number one is gonna start off with the Nike React Element 87 in the white colorway. I actually do have them here with me and they're not my size, but they're my girlfriend's size. So I'll show you guys how they look right now. So we got these junks right here, all right? They're honestly so comfortable. Look, let me fix the lighting. They're honestly really comfortable and I think Nike absolutely killed it. These things are so light. It's just this material, which is like plastic. I don't even know. And it's see-through. So they came out with this colorway, which is like a champagne sail white. I don't even know. And they also came out with the black colorway the same day. And I think out of those two, these are my favorite. And I also have another pair, which is like orange blue colorway. I'll put it up like right here. And those i have them for me it's just like personal all right so my next shoe is going to be the off-white air force one and this shoe oh my gosh it's so beautiful but you cannot wear it a lot because it is white and also like this shoe will get super yellow on the bottom and you cannot clean that because they have like cut material on the top part of the tongue and on the sides where like the ankle is and that stuff just like gets into the material. And Off-White, Nike killed the 10 collab. All right, so these shoes, I've been wanting them for so long. Like they came out with three colorways, the black and white colorway, the all gold colorway. And then my absolute favorite is the red and white colorway. I don't know if you guys can know like which shoe it is, but it is, but it is the Supreme Nike Air of Tempo. And I think they killed it on this shoe and they need to do more of it. What shoe would be absolutely so fire is the Air Jordan 1 with Supreme on it. I don't know why, but I actually like it. And I had the Supreme Nike um, Air Force 1 highs in the white colorway. I didn't really like them that much, but I just sold them for like a little bit over retail. And I think that's what they're going for right now. And honestly, I think Nike killed that and I always wanted till this day but I'm not about to drop $800, $900 on that shoe. All right, so the fourth shoe that I'm going to be talking about, the Travis Scott Air Jordan 4, right? So far, I have the blue colorway, right? I have the Travis Scott Air Force One sales. I wanna get the Air Jordan 1s. Those are like my grill and I want them so bad. I wanna try to get myself a pair and I wanna try to get my girlfriend a pair, all right? Um, this shoe, the Air Jordan 4, I have it next to me. I try to go with like a Travis Scott vibe. I wore them to his concert and they got trashed. But I actually did end up getting prep protect so I can clean them and now they look good as new. I have them right here, I'm gonna get them for you guys. All right, so these are them. They're honestly beautiful. Like I love the material, like that suede is so soft. And then the laces are like a wax laces. I don't know if you could tell. Let it focus. Those, like, he has this colorway and then he keeps teasing the purple and the olive colorway and I need them so bad because Travis Scott is like one of my favorite artists. And having all those shoes makes me feel like, damn, I'm actually helping him. But at the same time, it's like, I love the shoe too. And then the next final shoe that I'm gonna be talking about is the Air Jordan 1 Travis Scott. He did a surprise drop that nobody was thinking about and it was supposed to be when he won the Grammys or the Oscars for the artist of the year, but Drake won it. But this shoe released, like I heard as an accident and so many people were trying to get him. I was like, okay, like whatever, like I'm gonna go to bed because I didn't really care about the Grammys, not thinking like, oh, the shoes are gonna drop. 
So these shoes I want so bad and how it has a reverse check, how it has like the little pocket on the sock liner is honestly so beautiful. And then it comes with the suede also in the green. The olive green is like my favorite, but I believe on the back it comes with the Travis Scott logo with the smiley face or the frowny face. I'm not too sure. And on the side of the tongue, it has like the little label and it says Cactus Jack, like how the Jordan 4s have it like this. It'll be like that, but on the tongue. And honestly, I think the details that he puts in all of his shoes are beautiful and like well put together to where like he knows how what he's doing. Because at the end of the day, everyone's gonna want his shoes. Everybody's gonna want like, oh, that's Travis Scott shoes. Like I need that, I need that, I need that. But all right guys, so I was just letting you guys know my top five shoes that I personally love and that are my grails that I would not even sell. All right, so let me know down in the comments below what your favorite shoe is and what shoe you would want to get or like what you're working up towards to get. All right, so it's your boy. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at right here. And also please like, comment, subscribe. It's your boy Damien. I'll see you guys next week.